We made it to Warner Springs. So the Warner Springs Resource Center is closed due to the virus, but they're being really nice and coming to the fence and giving us any resupply stuff that we need right through the fence so we don't have to come into contact with anyone. And they have this hiker box here with a bunch of free stuff that people left behind. And I got this nice Spanish rice. Doing some nice road walking into Warner Springs town to pick up our boxes from the post office. We got our boxes. But it's so good to see you again after yeah, <laughs> we met in the hospital. Good morning. It's Sunday morning and yesterday I stopped by the post office and got my box. Um, but Circus Mom and Photo ordered some new gear from REI and it didn't get there in time so it's going to get there Monday morning. So we're actually going to take a zero today. And a zero means we're gonna do zero mileage. So we're gonna stay where we stayed last night, hang out all day in the sun by this river, uh, get some food and drinks and just relax. And then tomorrow morning, uh, they'll pick up those packages and we'll get back on the trail. An afternoon in the spa. Yeah. <laughs> this is my all natural Super green refrigerator for my beer. <laughs> Just doing our nightly jumping jacks to warm up before bed. <laughs> <laughs> We're finally hiking out of Warner Springs, <laughs> onto Idlewild. <laughs> A lot of turkeys. Back on the trail. Today it is hot and dry and it really feels like the desert. We're enjoying some nice shade. Mmm, <laughs> this is gonna taste good. Wait for them and tell them. Here you can see the peak of Mount San Jacinto, still covered in snow. I think we'll get there by the weekend, like five days or so. Hopefully some of that snow melts by then. I don't think, should we make comments? <laughs> Hello! <laughs> and <laughs> cowboy camping! <laughs>
Good morning. <laughs> How did everyone sleep? <laughs> really, really good. Yeah, it was really good. <laughs> So those are the mountains that we just came from. And then over here is the Anza Borrego Desert. And down there is a little town of Anza. There is another view of San Jacinto covered in some snow. And behind it is a snowy ridge with a super snowy peak called San Gorgonio. I don't know what is happening here. <laughs> Outhouse shower. Ooh. Library water. Is that John Muir? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> hey, John. <laughs> wow, little library. Look at this. How cool. They have buckets of poems that you can just take. And songs. Wow. Okay, so this whole little hiker oasis is set up by a trail angel named Mary. She's got these signs of John Muir, Walt Whitman, and Thoreau. This free little library with poems and songs that you can take away and some books that you can swap out. There is an outhouse up there. And then she has a little trail ledger here that says, why are you doing this? And she says that in 2020, um, she wants to focus on what is your 2020 vision of your perfect inner self and why are you hiking the trail? And people just wrote all the reasons for why they're hiking the PCT. And that's a really beautiful thing. Trail Angel Mary's left us water too. It's the Mary. <laughs> and they have a little outhouse. <laughs> the Mirror John. Woo. And oh my god, they actually have an outdoor shower. Amazing. I just used Mary's outdoor shower. She even supplied us with soap. She's such a trail angel. And now I get to just lay out and enjoy this mountaintop resort in the middle of California. I went to the woods because I wished to live deliberately, to front only the essential facts of life, and see if I could not learn what it had to teach, and not, when I came to die, discover that I had not lived. Henry David Thoreau and Kyle Gerspin. We're going to take a one mile detour off the PCT to a little cafe called Paradise Valley Cafe, which is supposed to have the best burger on the entire PCT, and get some food and some drinks, and figure out what we're going to do from there. I'm not getting off. 
Oh, man. I kind of feel obligated to now because my parents are coming. So, just leaving Paradise Valley Cafe right now, which is just an amazing establishment. The people there were so nice and welcoming and friendly and just made sure that we had everything that we needed. Um, after we had our burger, fries, and beer, uh, Circus and Photo got a hitch into Idlewild, which is still like two days down trail, um, but they got a hitch into Idlewild and they're gonna take a couple rest days because they, uh, they're having some pain in their knee, knees and ankles um, and they don't wanna press it too hard. And mom and I are going to push on further. So she actually shared the hitch into Idlewild to pick up her micro spikes since we might hit some snow coming up here. Um, but now we're back, heading back towards the trail from Paradise Valley Cafe. And it is Thursday late afternoon. And we are just going to try to push hard over these next couple days. We're like probably two trail days away from being able to go down into Idlewild and maybe taking a zero or resupplying there. But there were quite a few hikers at Paradise Valley Cafe who got off trail and they shared all of their remaining food with us. So it was almost like a mini resupply. And we definitely have enough food now to get a little bit further than Idlewild. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to push past where we would go down into Idlewild and go straight up over Mount San Jacinto um, this weekend, go down the other side of Mount San Jacinto and catch a hitch and go backwards into Idlewild where my battery pack is still waiting for me. And then we can take a rest day there but a big winter storm is supposed to hit Sunday night and Monday. So if we wanna do Mount San Jacinto, now's our only chance pretty much. So we're gonna to try to power through and get over the summit before this storm hits and then we can take refuge in um, Idlewild during the storm. And while we were eating our lunch at Paradise Valley Cafe, a US uh, Forest Service park ranger actually came up to us. We were a little bit nervous. We didn't know what he was gonna say But he um, He actually was really encouraging. He was like good for you guys for for being out here um, keep on going and he thinks it's a safe place to be and keep being responsible and It was very supportive and it was it was really good to hear Just stunning <laughs> 